All right, let me give you some examples of how fucking dumb and delusional and deranged you are. A transgender woman, they can't, I can't believe I have to actually say this. They can't give birth, okay? They cannot put a functioning uterus inside someone's body. Oh my God, it's fucking, oh my God. You know, people like you make everyone lose their faith in humanity. This is fucking unacceptable. Especially, you know, let, let me fucking backtrack a little here. When, when I was growing up, if we wanted to find something out, we had to search through these things called encyclopedias. We had to go to the library and look things up in an encyclopedia. There was no internet. The majority of American people have internet access. Not all. Some people don't, but most do, most do. The internet where you can just type anything in to the search bar and fucking find out anything you want to know. It's amazing, isn't it? And you are still so ignorant. Oh my God, oh my God. And then these accusations that are completely unfounded can be so easily disproven. You know, again, it's, it's like, They, you know, I know that as perps, you are mentally ill and they don't, you weren't chosen because you're smart, because you're intelligent and ethical and sane. They deliberately choose people to gang stalk that are fucking complete shitheads. But, I mean, oh my, do you, do you really think that people are going to believe you? That I am, oh, the one was as a gang member. Yeah, I'm a 50-year-old fucking gang member. I've, you know, and, and not like that doesn't happen, but that's pretty fucking rare. And, um, you know, I'm so forthright. I've. I've been honest about my life. So why wouldn't I say, yeah, I'm a former gangbanger. I was a former gang member. Why wouldn't I say that? You know, makes no sense. Accusing me of using narcotics. Okay, again, I've said this so many fucking times. I'm so sick of saying it over and over again. I'm 50 years old. Look at my skin. No junkie, no matter what the, no heroin addict, no meth head, no crack head, looks like me at 50. Anyone with an IQ of above room temperature knows this just by looking at me. The schizophrenia claims. You know who sounds schizophrenic? You know, like I said, I worked on an ambulance for a long time and I had a lot of patients who suffered from schizophrenia. And you know who sounds schizophrenic is Bernadette Moore in those comments where she's pretending to be Catherine Connor. Connor period Catherine. Look at my Instagram at Gaia's selfies and you'll see for yourself. That is what a schizophrenia sounds like. Where it's just random fucking shit. It doesn't make any sense. You can't. It's, it's 
just completely disjointed thought process. So, yeah, that's not me. Multiple personality disorder? No, doing impressions. That doesn't mean I have multiple personalities. That just means I'm fucking a talented bitch. And I'm funny. Yeah. So, um... Your claims, your smear campaign has completely fucking imploded. Oh, another one. That I'm a drug dealer. Bitch, if I were fucking dealing drugs, I think I'd be in a much better financial situation, don't you? And I think there'd be actual foot traffic. You know, people fucking pulling up in my driveway all the time. That's not happening. And I'm not going anywhere, so who am I dealing drugs to? My my cats and my dog? Who am I dealing drugs to? Oh my God. Yeah, and you know what? I know that there are good people that live in this town. I know, and in this county, I know not everyone is an embarrassing fucking hick. I know not everyone is an embarrassing bootlicking fucking person of color like the Sharmas. I know and the mall cop. Unless, I don't know, he might fake big, who fuck knows. Who cares? Dismissed. He's dismissed. Doesn't fucking matter. He doesn't matter. That shit will come out later on, though. And it's going to be fucking embarrassing. That body cam footage already fucking hit the dark web. And, oh, it's gone viral from what I heard. That's embarrassing. Don't think that shit's not going to fucking end up on TV. Because it is. And the whole world is going to ask, why did you not take this seriously? Especially if more people die at the hands of Bernadette Moore. Because you didn't do anything immediately. Because you did not take it seriously. Because you did not investigate it. And that is a travesty. It really is. That's a shame. So, you know, keep trying. Keep fucking trying. And, you know... Say I was transgender, which I'm not. If I was, I would just fucking say it. If I was a fucking boy before, I would just say I was a fucking boy. Oh, my God. And now I'm a girl. You know? I wouldn't be ashamed of that if that were the truth. But it's not the truth. If I were struggling with drug addiction, I would say I'm struggling with drug addiction. You know, you perps are pathological liars. It's a part of your fucking illnesses. You cannot tell that you couldn't fucking tell the truth. I mean, literally, your lives depend on it now to tell the truth. And you still won't. You're cowards and you're liars. You have to try to justify. Oh, and another thing, mentally. What? It, okay. Say I was mentally ill, severely mentally ill with schizophrenia, suffering from schizophrenia or multiple personality disorder. Would that give you the right to torture me? What kind of fucking monsters are you that, that, that you think that that justifies you mistreating me? That is horrible. Mentally ill people should not be mistreated. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. That is fucking evil. It's horrible. Shameful. Addiction is a disease. If I were suffering from narcotics addiction, I would not deserve to be mistreated either. 
I can't believe I have to say this. I should not have to say this to adult individuals. You all need to work on it fucking, you know, on your soul. But I, I'm thinking a lot of you are soulless. I think that you are just meat puppets, just acting on impulse or your next need. You know? That's what it appears, you know, because if you can't empathize with other individuals, which is why you've been trying to trigger me and can't because you cannot find my triggers because you can't empathize. Which at this point, you put me through such psychological trauma and we won't even talk about the physical trauma, but the psychological trauma that I have endured when this whole story comes out, people are going to be fucking horrified when they know. And you've effectively and inadvertently eliminated my triggers. You know? Because I have a strong mind that way. So, in, you know, a person can go one way or the other. It could break them or make them resilient obviously your torture your incessant psychological torture has had the latter effect on me so like I said better fucking get your soul right if you have one because um, you're going to understand all of you perps are going to know suffering you're going to know suffering at a level that you didn't even think existed and it will be inescapable and you only have yourselves to blame you did that to yourselves I did not do this to myself. I didn't do anything to deserve this. But you did. You did. So no one is going to pity you. Not, a, not anyone. Except your fellow perps, that is. You can all commiserate with each other when your fucking lives go to shit. It's about to happen. Get ready.